forever. Dog. Hello, friends. Hello, little brats. This is Megan Salter from Confronting Demons with Megan Salter. Nick is asleep, and we have some very exciting news. So hold on to your horses, girls. Forever Dog just launched a low-cost premium subscription service called Forever Dog Plus, where you can listen to ad-free versions of your favorite Forever Dog podcasts, including Confronting Demons. Forever Dog Plus is simple and easy to use. Just go to foreverdogpodcast.com slash plus, sign up, and you'll get a link that automatically opens in your preferred podcast app. And before you know it, you got access to over 3,000 hours of ad-free listening and counting. Then, each week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the newest episodes of Confronting Demons will automatically show up in your app, ad-free and ready to play. That's right. It's all there. It's all right at your little fingertips. Forever Dog Plus is not only convenient, it's affordable. It's just $4.99 monthly or $39.95 yearly. That's $4.99, not even $5 a month or $39.95 for an entire year to listen to Forever Dog Podcast you love and nonstop ad free. I'm screaming right now. That's not all. What the heck? How do you mean that's not all? Well, if you sign up before October 19th, you'll qualify for a special founding member's discount of 10% off. For as long as you remain a member, what the hell? That's a 10% off lifetime discount if you sign up before October 19th. So go to foreverdogpodcast.com slash plus, or just follow the link in the show notes, babe, and sign up, babe, today, babe, and lock it in that founding member, founding father's discount, and start listening to all your forever dog faves nonstop and ad-free. Forever dog plus. (laughs) Forever dog. Maybe just a small gripe Something doesn't seem right Until I confront them and they make nice The world is full of snakes and whores Get through the grim that's in the world Confronting demons with Megan Confronting demons with, confronting demons with Megan Stalter Or, or Meg Stalter, sometimes I go by Meg um, okay. Um, starting Nick, don't talk yet. I'm starting the podcast. And I just want to say before I do the song of the week that everybody loves me. You told me you could, you Nick? told me I could do the song today. No, I don't want you to do this. I've song. been working all morning on, um, I just want to fly. Put your hands around me, baby. Put your hands around put your me. Arms what around does that me, mean? Baby. Put your hands around I me. I just want to fly. What is put your hands, put your hands, hands around, around me, baby. baby? What does hands Ham- mean? I, I couldn't remember if it was hands or arms. But arms, you're not, but hands doesn't even sound like fly. arms. Nick. Put your arms, Nick. Ra- arms around me, baby. Nick. Put your arms, put your arms around me, baby. When you're saying hams, it doesn't sound like arms. It sounds like you're saying like your ham hocks. <sighs> so I've gotten some really bad reviews online about this podcast. And I'm going to be honest, if you guys don't take that off the internet, And you know what site I'm talking about. Don't take time out of your day to give me a bad review. Don't take time out of your day to give me a bad review. Do you know how many people I'm seeing right now? How many people I'm trying to date? Trying keyword. Because my husband won't quarantine with me. Do you know how many people? Can I just stop and say, do you know how many people I'm trying to sex because my husband won't quarantine with me? And I can tell you it's seven. Nick. The guy, Jason, he works for DoorDash. Stop calling him the guy. Jason um, from DoorDash. He never Daniel met from you. DoorDash. He never met you. He never met you. Daniel didn't meet Alantro you. Jason didn't meet you. They don't want to be. They they come for one th- reason, one reason only to drop to off drop off food, food, and then get a probably get a sight of me from the. I leave the window open and I kind of answer. Well, they leave the, it at the door, but then I I will go to the back window and sort of put my boobies up against. So um, we've gotten bad reviews, and I just want to say, get that off online. Get that off online. Don't write a bad review about me. Get that off in line. So time for the song. I want to see you dip. Do the dip. Do the dip. <laughs> Nick, stop laughing at me. I won't be able to make it through the song if you stop. You don't stop. And by the way, 
That's right, people are listening to podcast to hear the song at the beginning. But you know how many people said Lon Del Stalter and said I should have a, have an album? Who? <laughs> a lot of people have been calling me Lana Del Stalter recently. I want to see you do the dip. Do the dip, do the dip, do the dip, do the dip, dip, dip. I walk into the mall and what did I see? All the mall people looking back at me. And they were doing the dip. They were doing the dip. Dip your knees, bob your head, make your arms dangle like they're dead. Do the dip. It's 2019. A new dance is on the scene. It's 2019. Do the dip, baby. I want to see you do the dip. I want to see you walk and trip. I fell in love with a man who was doing my dance. The way his body moved put me in a trance. Can't seem to grasp how horny I am for the dip dance. Mom, why didn't you come home last night? I was fucking a guy on sight. Be doing the big dip on a really crazy flight. Mom, was it dad that you were sleeping with? Hell no. I was a man doing the dip and I had to let him know there's only one thing that turns me on <laughs> otherwise i'm dry from dust till dawn if you learn the dance i can guarantee you'll get the two 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 the tg if you do the dance you're gonna get the tg what does that mean tiny jeans tiny jeans tight t i n y g e n s so if I'm going to put that much effort into a song and you're going to leave a bad review, piss off. Anyways, this is Confronting Demons with Megan Salter. Oh, my God. My favorite podcast. Why doesn't they turn it into a show? Netflix, are you watching this girl? Um, so this is a well, you all know that this is a confronting podcast where usually me and um, somebody else will confront someone. Usually it's my brother. So Nick is my brother, and he's here, and we're going to check in with him. And by the way, we um, are going to be having an amazing guest. Go ahead, Nick. What do you want to hey say? Hey, guys. So welcome back today. Oh, I didn't know one of the Muppets were here from Muppets Day Off. Welcome back to the show, everybody. And I'm so Why glad to see you all. you talking like Beaker? You're talking huh? like a science Beaker that came to life. I was just trying like a new thing, like more. Uh, I was trying to be. There he is. There's Eeyore. A different new Come thing. Come on, Eeyore. Deliver the news. You know they want it. What'd you say? I was just trying something new. We have been getting and bad reviews, Nick. I know we've been getting bad reviews. That's why I was trying something new. And you told me that uh, you wouldn't let me really read the like reviews. This? But Hello, you to- it's the podcast you've been waiting for. That's what I was trying to do just now. You didn't see that I was trying to do that. You told me that every single review was that I was too low energy you. Okay, and that yeah, you were, you were t- that you but were you- exactly high energy, right? I wish I had a poisonous spire to put to put in your bed and you would wake up with a big big bump on your head. Just try it again. Come on in strong. Come on in strong. Mm. Like you have okay. like you're just everything is going your way, you know? Mm. Okay, well, okay. this is my brother. He's my co-host. Hi, guys. Are you falling and down well? It's really good to be here today, and I'm so glad that you all decided to hear it today. I'm also excited that you're decided to hear today, and you're falling in a well because you sound like you're yeah. talking in a well. Did someone yeah. push you into a well? No. Why are you crying? Mm. <laughs> okay. This is just different than I thought. I was okay. thinking I was gonna come. I think I was thinking I was gonna try out something new, mm-hmm. and you were gonna say you liked it so much, and then producer Emma was gonna say she liked it so much that she was gonna let me do producer my own Emma show. Producer Emma doesn't want you to be on the show anymore. She actually told me to kick you off and put somebody else on there, Bill Hader, someone else that's she been did. on SNL before or something. So okay. the reason you're still here is because I love you, and the reason you're hey, look at me, we're gonna be okay. Yeah. But you have to get... Do you mean it, big head? Hey. I told you to you stop mean, calling me that. Do you mean it, big head? Hey, stop calling me that. I told you I don't want the public to know you call me that. You know you like that. Ugh. Don't you mean oh. it, big head? Oh, that's a, a fun one. Oh, yeah. Let's have the brother flirting with the host. Whoa, that wasn't flirting. That wasn't flirting, flirting at all. Let's have the brother flirting with the host and that could be our uh. thing. 
Anyway, flirting with t- okay. I was flirting with 10 seconds of enjoy. I was flirting. I was flirting with mm-hmm. uh, the idea of having 10 seconds where I didn't want to um, throw hi. my computer oh, off hi, a cliff. F- hi, this is Megan. Is this the FBI? Yeah, you're going to have to get over here. Anyway, we have a really cool guest. The first thing I wanted to say about the podcast is we actually are doing a mega big change because I know you guys have been complaining about the podcast and that's why I'm talking so fast. And for now on, the podcast is only going to be having on really crazy actors, actors that have a bad reputation, actors who are really famous and (laughs) really have been arrested or something. But Uh, today, Robert Downey Jr., your phone's been ringing off the hook. Julia Roberts, we know you stole something before. Did she? Um, but here's the thing is, to do that, I needed Nick's help. And he failed. So we don't have a famous actor today. We don't have Robert De Niro. We don't have Jim, Jim Carrey. We don't have Cameron Diaz. We don't have Reese Witherspoon. But today we have somebody who knows us best. Somebody who we actually cannot stop blocking on our phones. But she, mm-hmm. had, she was actually in the building checking up on us. So everybody say hello to me and Nick's Aunt Ginger. Hi, Ginger. Hi, my two little <laughs> peanuts in the world. I miss what? you. <laughs> now, y'all, I do not know what exactly this is. This no. whole damn, I'm just talking on a damn mic. I haven't done this. I haven't held something with, <laughs> with so, this much girth in it in a long time. Okay. You got to keep, you can't keep swinging mm. it over your head. You know, okay. we got to get the the sound. So you got to keep it just right where we told you before. Okay. If you want to do this. I can't be helicoptering it. No, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop helicoptering it. Nick, jump in. Tell her to mm-hmm. come on. I I can't. Yeah, this is really, myself. really good, actually. And I'm very happy that you're actually here today, Ginger. And it's something that I uh, would like to have happen would be for you to be here. And I love that you're here. And it's really good. Thank you, baby. Thank you for having me on. I mean, I know y'all mm. told me that this was about confronting something, confronting demons and whatever. Mm. And, you know, I feel like there's some stuff that we could work out in the name of our Lord and Savior Christ himself. Oh, mm. God. I actually have to go to the library soon, but mm. um, we do have our own. Um, I just feel it's not a Christian. I know you're like, Mm-hmm. The way you just said that, I get it. I get what you mean, but it feels well, we are almost... eradicating the demons in this world in our mm-hmm. who purgatory. Is? Who's doing that? Yeah, who's doing that? I thought y'all were on this show. Um. Well, I, I no. Yeah. I mean, sometimes mm-hmm. we do that. I mean, like sometimes we do that, that for sure. And it's like, been, yeah, yeah, it's been Go way ahead, too Nick. long since it's been. I'm, I've been thinking that it's been too long since we've um, done that. Done that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sometimes we have so someone who is really bad and like some, we like will. And what do you say them, to them? But, well, we kind of mm-hmm. just go, well, like, I don't know. This podcast is more like I'm mad at somebody and I kind of talked about them, how they're like being mean to me. Mm-hmm. But like when I do bring God into it, I surely do. And I tell them like, you aren't living up to his potential and you're not. That's like, a capital yeah. H, babe. Okay. Yeah. A capital H on his. You aren't living but, up to his, his, not hers. Potential, babe. No. You don't have to well, say the capital letters. Yes, you do. Well, some, was, some people think he's like more like not really like a man. Like they think God's like a sort of a being. But like I do know that he's a man. So like don't think I'm – that's not coming from me. Well, you know you were raised in that good house. And you know your mother, my sister, my sister, bless her damn heart. Thank you for saying that. Obviously raised you to someone know needs, exactly someone needs to bless her damn what heart. him looks like. And y'all know – not Mom dissimilar. actually said that you blocked her on your phone. Mom said you, mommy said you blocked her. Me? Yeah, mommy, mommy said you blocked her. Mommy said you blocked her. She couldn't text you back yesterday when you got us in the family group chat. She wasn't getting your text, and she, mommy mm. said you blocked her. Well, if I did, it was the Lord's mercy have an accident on me, okay? I went to Kroger. I asked her, what do you need? She mm-hmm. told me some stuff I didn't want to hear, being a goddamn lot. <laughs> what did she need? I just did you just hear what I just said? That's mm-hmm. how he did. I just damned my <gasps> oh, Lord. Ginger. <gasps> Have you ever heard me say that? No. no. She sent me a Only G dash playing... D damn laundry list, okay? Only when you're playing Rook. You don't think we hear you playing Rook? You together, do cur- all you, guys? you do curse when you're playing Rook yeah. and you're you got to admit that. I've never heard so I've never heard so many GDs in my in my G in my GD life. Well, the last time you played Rook, you, you actually punched Rook. a hole in the wall. Mom said you guys play cards hard. Okay, and you know what? It ain't my fault that that is bad thin sheetrock. 
Okay. There is thick you gotta stop saying that about our house. That you, I'm not going to yell at you, but you got to stop saying that about our house. Mom Y'all said that. got good wall to wall and thin sheetrock, babe. That's a problem. Okay. Everything in your God. There I go okay. again. Well, sh- I look there like you I might be the one yeah. that to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had one too many. What? Yeah. I had one too many. Arnold Palmer's at the store today. You know, the tall boy Arizona mm. cans y'all can get. You know, I love the watermelon. They weren't my, my cards. They, they weren't, weren't my in cards. your cards. <laughs> they weren't my card lemonades. You're not lying to me. Guess what? Breaking up with your old wireless provider just got a lot easier thanks to Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile is introducing their unlimited data plan for just 30 bucks a month. Let that sink in, guys. Come on, let it sink in. An unlimited plan for 30 bucks a month. How much is your soon-to-be ex wireless provider charging you? Probably for $27,000. For people that hate their phone bill and are ready to cut ties with big wireless, Mint Mobile offers their premium unlimited plan for just 30 bucks a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And you can use your phone with any Mint Mobile and keep your old number and your contacts. Thank God. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven-day money-back guarantee. So break up with your big wireless and switch to Mint Mobile's premium unlimited plan for 30 bucks a month. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 30 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash Megan Stalter. That's mintmobile.com slash Megan Stalter. That's me. <laughs> Cut your unlimited wireless bill to 30 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash Megan Stalter. Folks, if you have watched those commercials with women letting their silky soft hair down and you're looking at your own and you're thinking, why can't I be looking like that? I want to be looking like that. Then you need a better solution and you can get it. You can get that gorgeous hair you've just been dying for. How? With Function of Beauty. Function of Beauty is a hair care that is formulated specifically for you and it doesn't matter your hair type, not at all. They create shampoo, conditioner, and treatments to fit your unique needs. How unique, you ask? Well, Function of Beauty has over 54 trillion possible ingredient combinations to make sure your formula is right for you. Is anyone else having trouble computing that? I am. So what? It's real. Here's how it works. First, you take a quick but thorough quiz so they can get to know a little bit about your hair. Then their team determines the right blend of ingredients and bottles your custom formula to order. After that, they deliver your personalized formula right to your door in a very cute, customized bottle. Seriously, the thing is adorable. It has your favorite color and fragrance, and they even print your name on it. And I love anything with my name on it, even if it's not for me. And when it comes to my own formula, well, you've seen my head of hair. It's just fabulous. I love using a product I know is specifically for me. Plus, their formula is vegan and cruelty-free. They never use sulfates, parabens, or any other harmful ingredients. Function of Beauty is not just the first ever customized hair care brand. It's the internet's top-rated customized hair care brand with over 40,000 real five-star reviews and counting. How do you like them apples? So what are you waiting for? Go to functionofbeauty.com slash demons to take our four-part hair quiz and save 20% off your first order. Go to functionofbeauty.com slash demons for 20% off and let them know you heard about it from our show. That's functionofbeauty.com slash demons. Hi, Forever Dog listeners. It's Meatball and Big Dipper. That's right. I'm here too. So this year, we have seen what staying silent can do. Mm. Oof. Woof. (laughs) <laughs> and right now, you have an unprecedented opportunity to speak up. We all do. So make sure to cast your vote and be heard this November. It's never too early to register to vote, but it might be too late before you know it. Right. So we want to help make it easy for you to register and have a plan for November 3rd or before if you're doing early voting as an option in your state. Yes, Queen, please do. Right. It's important to vote so that your country can finally reflect your values. So go to foreverdogpodcast.com 
slash vote to register. Check on your registration often and learn how to fill out your ballot. That's right. If you haven't registered to vote yet, this is a really easy way to do it. And uh, it feels like it's not outside your comfort zone because you love podcasts, you listen to our podcast, and you can do it very easily at foreverdogpodcast.com slash vote. And remember, each state is different, so make sure you are following your local rules and regulations for where you register to vote. Yeah, and take care of yourselves and take care of each other and make sure to vote because there's a demon in the office. Hey everyone, we're Mike, Scott, and Jason from Podcast The Ride. On our podcast, we discuss the world of theme parks and themed entertainment. Animatronic bears. Fake rock work. The logistics of theme park parking garages. So please check out and subscribe to Podcast The Ride only on the Forever Dog Podcast Network. New episodes every Friday. What'd you say? You weren't. Want, they uh, want coolers? Are you sure they weren't my card lemonades? You're accusing me of. I can rela- see one behind you're you. You're accusing me of relapsing mm. right now. I can see mm. one behind you. I got to be honest. I can't smell. I can't smell what's coming out of uh, what's co- when you talk. I can't. Sm- I don't smell like it's alcohol. But mm. I, every time you talk, it looks like your mouth is yellow on the inside. Like you've been drinking a lot of Mike's Hearts lemonades. And you all know, you all two love kind of you two love to mouth off to me. You know I'll tell what? you that. I'm sorry. Much. There, we have had so much drama with you in our lives. It is so hard for us to control ourselves mm. around you and not just down, 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 pick, pick, pick at you because mm. you have fought, caused so many fights with us. Well, you know, when you're sitting here accusing me of slinging back ten to twelve mics hard, so what? And you know what? So what if I did? Okay, mm-hmm. it is hot outside. It is October fifth. Okay, and you two little rugrats are sitting here telling Don't me that I can't that. live. Do not. I'm, so, I'm call sorry. Us that. Who was wiping you front to back when you were between one and two you years old? You don't have to go that front. You don't have to be wiping front to that front to back. Just just wipe whatever is it dirty. You don't have to be mm-hmm. wiping all of it. I'm not gonna have to owe you my. I don't owe you my life just because you did that. And I know you've been drinking because you have a headband half covering one of your eyes. That's my bad eye. Y'all know I cannot see straight if I don't cover that. And that was something that happened to me in a very unfortunate accident at a nail salon one time. Yeah, and, and you, you won't stop talking that. about it. And you know that. And you don't ever stop talking about the accident. Well, one, it's not my fault that the acrylic flicked back into my eye and permanently caused scar tissue in my cornea. If you would have uh-huh. went to the hospital right away, you they could have saved it. But you waited months. You waited. You celebrated full Christmas and oh Thanksgiving with that eye. Every uh, Thanksgiving, I thought, well, that's looking a little bit pink. Christmas, I was thinking, that looks worse. That's definitely crying mm-hmm. too much. Like, there's, it's crying too much. And then by New Year's, mm, God, you were in falling. a wheelchair. I don't even yeah, know New why Year's, they put you in it. It was the worst, worst, I, boast, I worst boat party I've okay? ever been to. I requested it. Okay, so sue me. So sue me. I wanted to experience it. Mm. Okay. So you went to the hospital, yeah. got a wheelchair, but you wouldn't let them look at your eye? And they, you wouldn't let them the band to dry? Because I knew it was whatever it was was going to be in my Lord Christ's will. Okay, that was it, what that's what's called having faith. Okay, was it you in get, Christ's will? Was it in Christ's will for you to fall off the boat four times because you couldn't see straight? Yes, it was. <laughs> Why? Yes, it was a christening every time, honey. Okay, dip me in that mm-hmm. bath. I come out new, Lord Jesus, day in His name. M- you think I didn't? Leave you don't the trip. think you fall that many times? You leave the trip. Well, yeah, you're, you're falling. Always, wo- Falling once, you're like, oh, that's goofy. Yeah. Look at Aunt Ginger. She's having fun. She's having so much fun that she fell in and she's kind of going for a late night swim. Oh, fall y'all number love two, it. Y'all like, love it when oh, I fall off. Y'all love it when I fall uh-huh. off. I pop up. My big old can's flinging about. Y'all think it's so funny. Oh, you love to watch uh-huh. these danglers. You love danglers. seeing your big boobies you flashing do. around. You love to see my big hooters flashing around. You do. Don't even act like you don't. You There's do. There's something so perverted about this family. I w- mm-hmm. I'm not kidding you. This is the last day I'm le- le- allowing mm-hmm. myself to be in the group chat. I'm not you know, kidding on road you. trips, on road trips, uh, on road trips, they used to um, Nick, Ginger used out. to feed me. Spit Ginger used to feed me when tell I was a baby us, on road trips. Tell her what. Tell when her. mommy was driving. That's right. Nick was breastfed by you. That's right. As a kid. <laughs> and I have really always felt. Kid. I've always felt a me. particular a particular closeness to you. One might Ginger. say tethered, as if yeah. I maybe could have had you inside of me at one day at my point. And I couldn't feel further away from you. And you know what? 
that is okay yeah. with me because we all know that men are divine. Okay. You are wearing your men is men are divine shirt, which I thought was, I'm sorry. I'm laughing. It, it you can't, you will not take that shirt off. You can't will come not. on every Look. single uh, event with a men are divine shirt on. Why? Yes, I can. And I do. You're obsessed. You're the straightest person I've ever met. You are the straightest yeah. person I've ever met in my life. Oh, I can't believe we're related. And you know what? Neither can I, honey. Okay. Because we all know there is one thing, and that's for women to like the big stiff ham hock and nothing else. You because are if you so like other jealous stuff, of women. You are so jealous of women. I mean, come on. Every single gymnastics tournament I'd have, there, there you come. She would come, Nick, in a full leotard to watch children's gymnastics. Here's my Aunt Ginger in a full leotard. Are you getting up on the competition? <laughs> are you getting up on the, full, the competition? Why did you do that to me? So embarrassing having my aunt every gymnastic tournament in a full leotard, your hair up in thumbelina braids as if you were about to compete. That's weird. I came prepared. I came to step in. I came to step in in case you needed to step out and they needed a replacement. And we all know replacements have to be related, okay? And they all know that I could have gone in there, done two kickback tumble wheels into a triple back axle flip. And you could never we do that. And guess what? Change. I'm still nimble as a damn bug. They honey. weren't going to okay. let a 45-year-old woman in a children's competition. I was 41. Oh, okay. You were... Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, honestly, that would definitely be their, their loss. I don't know if you saw her fall off that boat, but I, it was definitely a couple flips. And I think that that was a really good job that you did on that. Thank you. I don't, yeah. You meant to flip Thank into the water you. while you were falling? I, of course, did. Mm-hmm. It's called yeah. having complete body control. Y'all might think, oh, there's Aunt Ginger just throwing back her mic's heart. Not oh, there's Aunt Ginger her body. just drink, having another slice of bologna on the boat. Oh, there's Aunt Ginger just like doing whatever. But guess what? There's Aunt Ginger trying to sleep with our dad. <laughs> there's Aunt Ginger Y'all act like it hasn't my happened, mom okay? Y'all loved, you don't even want to know what happens in my relationship with your mother and father, okay? I don't even want no, to tell you because I don't. Yeah, I don't want to know. Don't. Definitely don't say I definitely anything. Definitely don't. About it. Don't give us any, don't try to give us I details. Wish, let me tell you or, something. I wish I, could, I wish I could ask producer Emma to cut this out of me having heard it. She told you she's not cutting anything anymore. So don't I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something hard, fast, and true and raw, okay? Something that maybe your little tiny baby ears haven't even heard in, in about a million and a half years. Your father built like a damn stone no, cold cinder no, block, stop. baby. Yes, he is. And I said to him, you can use my sister and I interchangeably. Why would okay? you say that to somebody? I have, I have always said that <laughs> dad was built like a stone cold brick house. I don't, I've always said that. I don't want to hear what Knock he's built Knock on like. that door, honey. Your fist is going to snap right off. Mm-hmm. I've always See, said that. Unlike you really knock hard. on the door of our You're own You're kind of hard all around. He's the, our dad's body's the opposite of our wall then, I guess. I was going to say, I'll tell you who's sturdier than your damn sheetrock in your bedroom, your daddy. So why don't you get your daddy to stand in the hole that I punched through the damn wall? Get your daddy to stand in the hole if you don't want to punch through your damn why wall. Why don't you, you come- go up to our mother on her wedding day and say, oh, guess what I told your new husband? Why would you say that? And then tell our, you told our dad that he could use you and your sister inter- interchangeably? Because I'm sacrificing myself. I am a giving person. I give my body, my mind, Sacrifi- body, soul, spirit. You're in love with him. You're in love with our dad. And you wish you were Nick's mom, and that's why you nursed him, you sick pervert. I don't even know if we should go on a... Here we go. I don't even know if we should go on a family vacation with you, which is why well, we're going. Know, we brought you on to well, talk we're to you. Going. We are going on a family vacation, and I don't give two little stinkers of a rat's nut. Where well, I give think- a stinker of a rat's nut. Yeah, I give a stinker of a rat nut. <laughs> At least one. Well, I want to go. Y'all know I want to go to the Keys, okay? You know I've been oh, wanting God. to go to okay. the Keys for Not a long going to the time. Keys. Yes, no. we're going to the Keys, and I'll tell you why. Because they have gorgeous mixed cocktails down there. They have mixology mm. bars. You said you can't drink any. You shouldn't drink anymore. I do not drink when it is not a holiday time. I do not drink mm. when it is not something to celebrate. I, I can't, do not uh, drink. I'm not going to be stuck on an island with you drinking for two weeks. So here's it for the viewers. We go on a family vacation every year to the mm-hmm. same place, Seaside, Florida. And every year, and Ginger tries to get us to go to Paris or, you know, Jamaica. I just want to read a couple, and Nick, stop me if I'm out of line, but I want to read a couple family group chat 
uh, messages that we got sent from Aunt Ginger this past week. Um, so last Monday, and you could kind of explain why you sent these. Last Monday, you put us in the group. I don't know why y'all bring me on here to drag me under the bus when I'm just trying to have you. You're bring dragging me on? the bus. Yeah. Dragging I think us. Y- you, uh, uh, you, you have me. I'm, uh, 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 uh. Nope. nope. You no. brought me on here you uh, uh, uh. to play me like a damn fiddle in your fucking elementary school class. And I'm going to curse. And you know what? The Lord is telling me it is okay to do so. So listen to me. God just Cheer. told you that? Listen God to just me. told you yes. to curse at us. God just came to me. And I'm going to call you the nickname that you hate. No. No. Yes, I am. No. What? Don't listen say Listen to me, chipper. Yeah. I God! said it. Why are you saying that to me? You know you that love I hate to, that. You love to bring me on this goddamn show. Don't call me And play me again. like a damn clarinet. Uh, like the time. You think you're so slick, slick, slicky Ricky over there. Guess what? You're not. Okay. No, you're... me and Ricky broke up. Do not bring him up again. Stop it. You know every detail about yeah, me. Yeah, I don't saw you? him. I saw him recently too. Just so you know, I saw him recently too. I did. Okay. You've been Who seeing cared? Ricky. Who cared? I saw him recently too. What'd he, you see him do? Jerk off me, in the bathroom. He bought me. A, That's all he does. He brought me a pumpkin latte cream tipped uh, frappuccino the other day. You're lying to me. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't. With lie. whipped cream. I don't like what look extra. He even gave me a side well, cup. Well, that's perverted. He gave me a pup cup, and I'm not even a damn dog. A pup cup? He gave me a pup <laughs> cup, and I'm not even a goddamn dog. They're reserved for dogs, too, you know. They're, uh, pup cups are only reserved for dogs. You know that, right? Don't you think that's he got weird? Me a he pup gave you cup. a dog little cup? He got me a little treat for free. You were he at said his th- work. He said, thank you. He said, thank you, Auntie Ginger. Thank you for always believing in so me. So he doesn't see you in a sexual way. He's calling you aunt. And you visited him well, at his workplace. Well, he likes weird mm. things. Y'all know how it gets. What is he okay. like? Did he? He bought me one time. A, he wanted me to wear a. He wanted me to wear a fruit by the foot as a bodysuit one time. My ex-boyfriend bought you fruit by the foot to wear as a bodysuit. That's, That's right. what you're telling me right now. Lord bless it on his name. You can't have every straight man to yourself. So I can. They call me the guzzler for a reason, honey. My ex wouldn't. Okay. You know what? Okay. Here's a family group chat. So she put me, <laughs> the guzzler, which is what I'm going to change your name to in my phone. The guzzler who wants every straight man to bow down to her. She put me, she put us in a group chat, me, Nick, Aunt Lynn's kids, and my mom. And all she put in all caps was vacation 2021. Bless God. Should we go to Germany? Kidding. Beach or bust? Who's in on the house? Not 15 minutes later, she started another group chat with all of us and her neighbor. And it just says adding Jared. Well, first of all, I want to stop you right there because now Jared doesn't know what you're talking about because he wasn't in the last message. So just explain my, your thought process with doing that because mm-hmm. why is Jared going on a family vacation? Why are we going to Germany? And why would you start a group chat not explaining to Jared what the chat is? Jared and already last of knew. All, well, <laughs> last of all, why did you send me a separate trip that said, let's blow off this fart box and go on our own trip to the really? Keys, babe? Really? And yeah. you know why I did that? Because that right there, little chipper dipper, listen to me, that right there, your brother... He's my son, okay? He fed from the teeth that is my breast. When I have a demon in my life, or maybe just a small gripe, something doesn't seem right until I confront them and they make nice. The world is full of snakes and whores. Get through the grim that's in the world. Confronting demons with maggot. Confronting demons with Confronting demons with Megan Stalter or or Meg Stalter. Sometimes you go by Meg. Forever Dog. This has been a Forever Dog production. Confronting Demons with Megan Stalter is executive produced by Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. Senior producer, Tracy Soren. Produced by Emma Foley. Original theme music by Henry Kapersky. Cover art by Sela Shaloni. To listen to this podcast ad free, sign up for Forever Dog Plus at Forever Dog Podcasts.com slash plus. Check out video clips of our podcasts on YouTube at youtube.com slash Forever Dog Team. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Forever Dog Team to keep up with all the latest Forever Dog news.